Solomon Tesse has been told many times that his head is in the clouds, but he doesn't mind one bit. The teenager who fled Ethiopia for a new life in Melbourne is building his own aircraft in the family garage. If that's not impressive enough, he's using scrap metal to do it. The ABC's Ryan Shields has the story. When Solomon Tesse and his parents fled Ethiopia as refugees and eventually settled in Melbourne 10 years ago, they told him to aim for the sky, but they didn't expect he'd take the advice literally. I've always been inspired by like small aircraft, fuel efficient airplanes, and yeah, I just wanted to build one of my own. And its parts have come from a range of places. Just find them on the road. Sea belts, everything that I just built from scratch. So as I am a refugee background, I don't have enough money to, to help him. But what he's doing is just with pieces of material and most of the stuff is just getting it from the garage sale. Those close to the 16-year-old aren't surprised. His passion first materialised with model planes and he's now an active member of the Air Cadets 404 Squadron. After a year and a half's work, the plane is nearly complete. When the plane is complete, Solomon will be allowed to fly it without a formal pilot's licence. The only restriction being he won't be allowed over built-up areas. Aviation groups say building a plane from the ground up isn't easy but something that requires brains, skill and dedication. For a gentleman of his age, he's done extremely well. Look, a good mechanical and aptitude is, uh, uh, he must have some sort of love of aeroplanes to be able to have designed something like that. And Solomon is already setting himself new goals. Be a pilot and I've probably built and designed aircraft of my own one day as well. Bigger ones. The sky's the limit. Ryan Shields, ABC News, Melbourne.